<laughs> oh, guys, welcome back. Welcome back. This is Solomon Jagwe. I had to jump in real quick and talk about this. So I opened up my launcher, my Epic Games launcher, and guess what I noticed? This new highlight right here. You know what that means? That a new engine is available. So I let me click on that. And what just happened? Oh, you see what that means? <clears throat> I'm super excited. I've been waiting for Unreal Engine 5.1 and it's finally here. All right, let's go ahead and install. I hope I have enough space. Let's go ahead, click install. And when this release is testing only, this release has not been fully tested and may be unstable. Do not use this release for the active development of projects. Additional information about this release available on the Unreal Engine forum. So let's first click here and see what they are talking about. All right, so looks like you know that uh, Unreal Fest is coming up, right? So I'm wondering if this is why they released it. And so you guys can here, hold on a second. So this was seven hours ago. It says ready to take new. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I am ready. I am ready. <laughs> and then the, you can see the Unreal Engine roadmap over here, all the cool things that they've added. You know, there's so many things that are in this release that I can't wait to dive into. One of them is, of course, path tracing and so many other cool, like, you know, path tracing, like this part right here. This I'm, I'm excited about. So while we're talking about that, let me go ahead and install. And I want to put it on D. I hope I have enough space there. Let's go ahead and install. Yes, sir. So I am putting it on an SSD external hard drive, which is uh, super fast. So let's see how long it's going to take. I am going to be sharing updates as I go along, but I just wanted to walk you through how to access the engine 5.1. You simply go up here, click on install, and then it will show up this little button right here, and then you get options to install it. So it is 20.8 gigabytes, guys. Make sure you have plenty of space, right? So as that is installing, let's go back here on the roadmap. So we've been waiting for this one for a while. Uh, Lumen improvements, this is huge, right? Support for foliage, reflections on single layer water, improved performance optimization in high scalability mode with goal of achieving 60 frames per second on consoles. Support for end display, initial support for split screen. All right, that is awesome. Nanite improvements, the primary focus on lens and additions. They have nanite switch in the material editor, additional any quality performance. I can't wait for that. And let's see how it's doing. All right, um, mine is like 21 megabits per second. So I don't think it's gonna take too long. And actually, if I go here to the downloads, I can see the progress. Uh, it's a 4% installed. Uh, no, no, downloaded. It says installing, but this is the install part of it. So 1.5 gigabytes of 21 gigabytes installed. All right, let's watch that. But uh, here, these are the cool things that I'm looking forward to, you know. So many awesome, awesome updates. And character deformation improvements, animation retargeting for virtual production. This I'm very curious about for sure. IK rig and IK profiles enable post creation additional. This is cool, very cool. Motion matching. They don't have a visual for that, but artistic centric work, artistic, artist centric work for using motion matching. So okay, what else? Is all the audio improvements, mobile defy rendering, and native support on Apple, UV editor. <laughs> yes, this one. Thank you, Epic Games. Thank you so much. Because I've been wanting to be able to fix UVs inside of the Unreal Engine. I'm so glad they brought finally brought this into. Uh, 5.1 geometry scripting usd integration improvement so hopefully this will mean like 
when we are using uh, Omniverse and we're able to bring in like the audio to face and things like that. And I see use live link to connect direct to SDKL and save admission. That's awesome. Very, very much needed. That is a good, good one. That's right there. Data Smith exporter plugin for 3D Max. Okay, this is huge. Like this is seriously huge. I am a 3ds max user and for me this is <laughs> i don't know if uh, they've improved the one for Maya. but it looks like the major improvement is uh 3ds max and then sketchup what else chaos cloth improvements so with chaos physics system users can create cloth simulations for a variety of reasons all right so this is i'm excited about this because right now i've been using a uh, 3d draper so i want to see how well you know the like the meta human clothing are going to work if i create like custom clothing using marvelous designer i want to see how well that works but it looks like uh, there are improvements in there let's see what else this is huge i mean this is like a, a really really big big update Sequencer enhancements, what have they done? So dynamic sub subsequence weighting, blendable material tracks, exposing additional sequence through, okay, thank you. Thank you, because I've been able to like to do like facial animation for the meta humans when I recorded data, uh, being able to just layer even more like facial animation tweaks, that would be awesome. I can't wait to test that out. Uh, visual scouting enhancement, Lumen for in-camera VFX, all right. <laughs> that I am very curious about. Sequencer, these are uh, blueprint improvements. Uh, let's see, what have they done here? Data preview, okay. Uh, smart objects, uh, production ready. Oh my goodness, <laughs> the list just keeps going on and on. New curve table editor localization that is awesome, you know. So, I think overall making films is gonna get so much better. And Nanite for sure is a big, big it has been a big hit, at least for me, especially when I'm using like the sample city meta, uh, the matrix city to create like short films. But I think more than anything, I think for me, Lumen and Path Tracing and Sequencer, those are the ones that I've really, really been looking forward to, to see what more we can do with that. And so I can't wait to finish the download, but it takes, an, I, oh, it has dropped down to 2.1 megabits per second. So it must be all of you guys out there. What are you doing, man? I know we're all excited, but looks like there's a lot of people who are downloading right now. So guys, uh, once I have it running, I'll pop it open and I'll share with you. But this is a, a quick one on how to install, to download and install the Unreal Engine 5.1. You definitely just have to go up here again, quick one, and then drop down. It should show up here and then you just install. And make sure you have plenty of space, 20 plus gigabytes of space and let's go <laughs> and definitely keep an eye out i'll put this link in the description of this video keep an eye out for 5.1 and i'll continue to share this thank you so much for joining me today uh, i'm excited the Android engine 5.1 has been released and i'll continue to share some uh, insights as i continue to use it but uh, right now i still have a ways to go to finish downloading i'll see you in the next Android engine 5.1 video Thank you so much for joining me. Please don't spare me to subscribe and hit that notification bell. So you're alerted when I post a new video, another update for 5.1. And I'll continue to share, guys. Stay safe, dare to dream big, never give up on your dream. What an awesome, awesome day. <laughs> Bye for now.